I also want everyone to know, uh, this is like an interview exclusive, by the way. Introducing KG Tang and Yako and Adam McArthur. How are all of you? Hey, and, uh, how's it going? And Cat. And Cat. And, 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 and Cat. 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 Yeah. <laughs> she goes where she pleases. <laughs> Thanks for having us. No, thank you so much for joining. So, you know, Jujutsu Kaisen, I have to ask, how has the experience been for all of you so far? And also now being able to come back for season two. Amazing. Yeah, it's been crazy. Yeah, it's, been crazy. <laughs> yeah, it, 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 it's been astounding, really. It's been it's been three years of like fast forward, uh, just just completely crazy. And now season two, I know you guys probably recorded recently for you know, for the first time in a while, right? I know. Yeah. It's exciting. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's been a minute. Guys. I've missed y'all. Yeah, yeah. We like Ann and I really have had we've just been on vacation for a while. Oh, for a long, long time. <laughs> yeah. It's been nice. We didn't have to do the movie. We just get to sit yeah. back and just like, you know, say hi to people and stuff. So yeah. we're uh we're ready for action. We're really excited to get back at it. Yeah, it felt really good. It felt really good to go back into the booth for all of like 10 minutes. 10 minutes. <laughs> if that. Well, honestly, what a 10 minutes. If that, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but an excellent 10 minutes, I'm That's sure. Right. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. And so when, you know, when you are cast in these projects in the very beginning, there's no way to tell how something will land, like how popular something will become. And it's always like a very pleasant surprise. And JJK has become incredibly popular. Fans love it. And I, I'm curious, when did it resonate with you that this show was really, really big? Was it a convention? Was it the online engagement? Dang. It's hard to think back to like a moment when you were like, oh, shoot, this is, this is like, this is really <laughs> I, a thing. Right. Yeah. I mean, we were all, we were all pretty hyped from the beginning, but we've also all been doing this long enough that like, we don't get hyped until it's time to get hyped. Um, you know, just like we've all worked on stuff that we're like, this is amazing. And then it's never on TV or whatever, you know, anything can happen. But with JJK, I think. I mean, we're, we're honestly really lucky because it's not just the fact that like fans love it. Um, it's also that it is a like really good and B our individual characters, like what we're getting to do as actors for them is also been really fun. So I always say it's kind of like the trifecta of just like all these things coming together that have made it really amazing. Um, yeah, for me, I can't, it's hard to think of like an exact moment where I was like, look, mom, I've made it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, it really feels like we won the lottery, you know, yeah. you know, work on so many things. You're like, this might be cool. And then nobody ever talks about it or like it just, you know, got shoved to the back catalog of Netflix or something. And then you're you see something like JJK come along. You're like, this seems, this seems like it'd be really good. And then you book it and then you realize, oh, no, it is really good. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> but to actually answer the question, I think it was so my very first convention as a guest was after JJK came out and it was Otakon of 2021 and mm. sitting down for our first panel for Jujutsu Kaisen and seeing this like ballroom full of people ready to talk about Jujutsu Kaisen and they had so many questions they wanted to know so many things it was so cool and that was I think that was the moment I realized oh oh it's really like resonating with people they really like it so that was really cool yeah I, I think my wife had to actually tell me how popular it was. Like, I, I, <laughs> I, I didn't know too much about it before I auditioned. And then after I booked it, then I was like, oh, oh, it, it's it's cool. It's really cool. Um, I, I remember uh, booking a thing and then like telling Marcy about it. It's like, hey, I booked this character named Gojo. And she's like, what do you mean you booked Gojo? And I was like, what? What do I do? Is it, is it cool? Is it uh, is man for a good time? Yeah. So um, I was I, I believe I was told by my wife. And so when it comes to English dubbing, I'm very curious to know if there were any scenes in particular that were kind of difficult to record, whether it was, you know, trying to match the mouth flaps or maybe you were adjusting dialogue as you were recording, because I know that there's a lot of, um, you know, detail and there's a lot of like consideration when you are, you know, saying th these lines. Yeah. Yeah, I, I I mean, so we just did this opening to season two, and uh, there were several times um, during the recording where we were like, oh my god, this is not going to work. The lines aren't going to work. They don't fit the flaps. Um, infamously, there was the um, throughout heaven and earth scene that we we just dubbed, and 
if you watch it in Japanese, the Japanese translation of it is so short. Like it's it's so few words compared to how how many syllables we have to pump out for the same translation. Um, so we we decided to take like a couple of words from the top and post uh, put it like in the previous scene where where it was like a pullback shot. Anyway, it, it, it not to get into weeds of it, but like yeah, there is tons of stuff like that that we have to c tackle like by case by case basis. Um, and basically every session, it's it, it keeps it fun. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. There's definitely moments where it's like. Uh... Depending on the scene, I get the the end of season one where um, Yuji and Nobara are kind of walking in the forest is like a really grounded moment for them. And I think there was some stuff in there. I remember I'm like, oh, the, it just sound it just sometimes it can sound clunky um, because ultimately what they have to do is make it fit the flaps first. And then when we're in there, we kind of like, you know, can tool around and make it work. But um, anytime there's a lot of action, it's basically like that's part of the job. It's just making sure <laughs> like st stuff is coming out right um, during chaos. Yeah, it's it's a really fun challenge, though. Like I remember like in that scene that Adam was just referencing, like there's a part where Noel Barrow's like, oh, and then she goes into something and her mouth gets really big, I think. And I remember it took us a few a few tries, took me a few tries to like just get the timing right. Sometimes it's 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 very specific timing because the mouth does something very like unique compared to just going ba 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 ba, you know? And so yeah. making sure you can hit those things, it's, it's you should have like yawned. threading a needle. Oh, <laughs> that, yeah, that, oh, yeah. oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, Yuji. Ah, tough day at the office. <laughs> Very strong acting choice. Yeah. Nailed it. Make First it your day. own. Make it your own. All right, all right. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> um, and so, you know, while we're on the topic of dubbing specifically, when I was watching, you know, first season and now the second season, I really enjoyed these kind of like little lines where, you know, Yuji is name dropping Jennifer Lawrence and, you know, uh, Gojo in like season two is basically talking all about Digimon and confessing that, you know, he was a Digimon kid also growing up. Yeah. Um, and then I think recently there was also a line that was set that was like something about a fried chicken shop. <laughs> <laughs> and so I'm just so curious, like where those lines specifically come from. Is that something that was like adapted? Is that something that was like, hey, let's try this? Like I just thought of it. Why not? Um, I I can I can probably answer for the fried chicken thing at least. Uh, so <laughs> there were a lot of very uh very Japanese lines uh, this past season. Um, or not this past first part of the season. Uh, for example, there's a line where Gojo talks about a very very specific Japanese video game. And then uh, Gojo brings up a specific Japanese actress, right? If we hard translated those, it may not make much sense to the average American viewer. So we did things like instead of talking about like one specific video game, we talked about MMOs, which were a big thing back in 2006. Um, for, instead of like one Japanese actress, we went with like some general like, oh, like, isn't she hot? Or like, you know, we talked about putting Britney Spears in there, but it, it, it was the same. It was around the proper time, but they didn't go for it. Um, but uh yeah it's it's i've completely forgotten what you actually asked me because now i just off on a tangent about uh fried chicken okay so the fried chicken thing uh, i'm hungry thing. i'll remember that yeah. one yeah. yeah yeah excellent excellent thank you thank you for catching me uh so um those little uh one-liners like little skits at the end of uh these episodes um for that specific episode uh, again, it was a very uh, kind of like Japanese uh, translation, right? So we had to have something about it to make sense. So instead, we replaced like some of the political stuff of like, oh, like, um, you know, universal health care. Like, oh, we, we recognize the, those words. And then um, Shoko's line, which we translated into the uh, uh, chicken shop thing, was originally about a Japanese horse festival um, that none of us would ever recognize right so we're like yeah. what do we possibly do about this and of course you know gojo and gato famously kind of break up in front of a chicken shop so we're like just say fried chicken shop i don't know it's, it's... that's amazing <laughs> it's as simple as that <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but jennifer lawrence the jennifer lawrence line that's actually in the manga right mm -hmm. yeah. yeah jennifer lawrence is actually in there yeah. i think yeah 
good to know because i was gonna say i'm i'm anime only and i'm seeing right now online everyone who's read ahead in the manga is like mm. oh you anime only is don't know what you're in for in season two so without spoil anything spoiling anything if you, any of you have read the manga and have read ahead in the manga like are are we in for something big i guess no um, no it'll be <laughs> It'll be yeah. it's all sunshine and rainbows. Oh, no fun! You know, no bar takes everyone out to the mall. We're all going yeah. shopping. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's sushi. gonna be, it's gonna be great. No, actually, yeah. I keep, I keep. <laughs> we all keep talking about our, uh, our anime only. Uh, we want to care about you guys because yeah. uh, <laughs> a, you don't know what's coming, but b, all, I also feel like this could be a very confusing time. Like the beginning of season two, if you were anime <laughs> only, you'd be like wait who what where is this a what are we and then also like we just came off the movie where you probably sat down in the theater and we're like wait what? who's the wait a minute <laughs> who's where's where you know so like we're finally getting back at it like when gojo opens his eyes uh, at the end of season five i can imagine as an anime only you're like okay i remember this show now I'm ready to... <laughs> like i know those kids okay yeah. right. <laughs> they look familiar I actually like kind of love that about JJK. Like it does stuff and then lets you catch up. Like it gives mm -hmm. you credit to figure it out. Whereas like a lot of stuff these days, it just it like wants to explain every little detail of every everything in a show. Um, JJK is for smart people. It's because yeah. you gotta like, you gotta, like <laughs> Honestly, figure it out. That's true. I, I was <laughs> like, I think it's, and I think like in the first half of the season, it was so clever that they put so much exposition just into the opening song and into the credits. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like you're really fleshing out like what is the world of 2000, 2006, 2007, Japan? 2006 -ish, yeah, 2006-ish yeah, Japan, uh, just by, you know, listening to and watching the opening and closing credits. Yeah. JK is cool. We like it. Yeah, we do. <laughs> You all voice uh, characters in JJK, very popular show, but you have voiced many other characters in various other projects. So I would like to ask you, is there a role that you have voiced that you, or a project you've worked on that you really love that maybe you just don't get to talk about as often? Mm. Um, so I am in a lot of fighting games like a lot like um and it's one of my primary passions in life like i just uh recently competed at evo uh this past uh this year um so whenever i get to talk about like that stuff at the ta at the table when i'm meeting fans i get like re really really excited i'm like oh who do you mean like blah 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 like like um so I, I, any 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 single one of my fighting game characters faust um uh, uh, uh jan lee um uh, eccentrics I, I i oh my god i can't even remember um so uh, Sub Zero from Mortal Kombat. That's exactly that's what I was. <laughs> I was um, just about I was to like, say it. But I was like, like, you mean your new one? Like, I, yeah, I had a I had a one. moment of like, wait, he's talked about this online. Wait, I know he can say that now. <laughs> Why isn't he saying that? Maybe <laughs> I shouldn't say that. That's what was it's happening. The, it's the right Sub Zero. Now. Yeah, yeah. yeah I, it was I, the head exploding emoji. Yeah, yeah. 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 Um. So yeah, for I, I guess for me, like the fighting game stuff. There was an anime where I got to play the main character, and it's this little girl named Mamempu. Uh, it's a an anime called Sakugan and like that holds a special place in my heart because it's really heartfelt and I love the father-daughter relationship but like it totally flew under the radar and I knew it was going to but I really enjoyed the show it was a really cute yeah. show it was a really cute show yeah. and both of y'all were in it too yeah too. we were in it we were all in it um for me hmm I guess like the one that it's not really a glamorous one but it's been really consistent um I've been I've been the voice of Disney XD for six years um, and it's just really fun. Um, so I'm the guy who tells you what's coming up next and no one cares about that, <laughs> but it's always like a fun, I need, it's like I a need fun to be told thing, what's coming you know? up next. Yeah. Right. Yeah. <laughs> I, I know we all need to be informed. <laughs> it's actually, um, Ann and KG call me often. They're like, Hey, do I have a convention this weekend? And I'm like this summer, you know, like, <laughs> wait, do. wait, do you really though? Because I need to know that that's true. No, you know what? That, we can say yes. Let's just say I yes. Do. Yeah, I absolutely. Do. Yeah. I do that. I do. 3 a.m. every yeah. morning mm -hmm. without yeah. fail. Yeah. <laughs> it has to be early because you yeah. know, the early bird gets the worm. <laughs> <laughs> and so 
<laughs> and so now you all are also going to be guests at New York Comic Con this year. Yes. And I'm I'm curious, like, what are you most excited about? Chris Evans. <laughs> Chris Evans. I gotta get. I, I gotta. I was like, you and McGregor. I'm really excited about you and McGregor. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to eat in New York. Thirteen year old yeah. is freaking out. I, yeah. I, I want to uh, um, try and use the fact that I'm a guest at New York Comic Con to get into the Funko booth, the elusive <laughs> Funko booth. <laughs> good <laughs> luck. One. I know. Get yeah. Good luck. <laughs> Yeah. And then, uh, KG, I think you mentioned like food, right? So yeah. if, if food is on the agenda, what kind of food are we all making sure we eat while we're there? Oh, dude, I don't even know. Oh, like, God. this is going to be my much. first time in like, yeah, in like New York City, New York City proper. So I've never been. So I'm oh, going to be really? taking recommendations like. We're yeah, going to go ham, time. KG. Oh, my yes, God. Yes, I want fun. ham. I love ham. Ham's great. Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, you should definitely have like like at least one like genuine New York pizza slice. Oh my god, yeah, yeah, yeah the New New York utility pizza. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, a lot of people don't know this about KG, but he is a late night hot dog guy. Like we get dinner somewhere good, and then on the way back he'd be like, you know what, I need a hot dog because I'm gonna go sit in my bath in my hotel room and eat a hot dog. Listen, so you got to do a new off the street New York hot dog. Listen, say, everyone yeah, has a yeah, ritual, okay? Food. That's right. <laughs> Rituals are important. <laughs> I also want everyone to know, uh, this is like an interview exclusive, by the way. Uh, I want everyone to know that KG has this thing that he says he wants to do. He, I don't know if he's done it yet, but maybe New York uh, is the place yeah. because it, the hot dogs are readily available. KG <laughs> wants to just leave a random hot dog in the shower of a hotel. Okay, let me explain myself. Let me explain myself. Let me explain myself. Let me explain myself. Okay, this is, this is not as outlandish as it sounds, maybe. All right, listen. I go to I go to enough of these events like I'm always at, the, at these hotels and I, I'm just wondering, like, what can I do? What can I do to make the experience more memorable, more fun? You know, what worse? if, what if every, yeah, what worse if, for what the if, what, for the housekeeping? No, 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 no. Okay, look, I'm not I'm not a monster about it. Right. Like, you don't put like you don't put like a disintegrated hot dog in the drain. That'd be rude. Okay, right. Okay. You take a perfectly crafted it's hot dog no, it's not falling mm. apart just like yeah. super sturdy right and you okay. put it right in the middle of the tub clean all right no 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 sauces anywhere you Plated. just place it there you yeah. just place it there and then you just leave frank. You okay. out. Hmm. what do you can you okay i have a question if you yeah. do do that can you call like um like a several hours after you leave the hotel and you can be like ask the like the check up on the hot dog like, no, I, no, I've lost something. Like, hey, I left no, yeah, no. Hot dog <laughs> you're calling for a pound for your hot dog yeah, yeah. <laughs> you guys find a hot dog <laughs> And if, the they, single hot dog in if the they room. throw it away, demand a partial refund. <laughs> <laughs> I was planning to eat that later. <laughs> Why would you throw away a perfectly good hot dog? Think of the nitrates. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, if they eat I'm not it, saying I do that. I'm not saying I do that. If they eat it, you have We're to go back saying. and tip them. Okay? That's the deal. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Now, KG, I think you might have mentioned that this would be your first time in New York in yes. general. Uh, but Anne and Adam, I'm curious, like, have you been to New York Comic Con before? I'm, I'm a, Based on your knowledge of street food, I feel like you've probably been to New York, too. <laughs> I've been to New York, but I've never been to New York Comic Con. This is my first year at New York Comic Con, and I'm very excited. I was at New York Comic Con 2019, so the year before the pandemic. Um, I did, like, a little fan meetup in Bryant Park, I think was the name of the park, um, like a little bit away from Javits. But uh, yeah, I got to attend in 2019 and it was um, amazing before the world closed down. Well, thank you all so much for joining me today. Uh, it was amazing talking about Jujutsu Kaisen and I'm very excited for New York and I can't wait to see how it goes for all of you. We can't Yay, wait. We're excited. So excited. Awesome. <laughs> Thank you for joining everyone and we'll see you next time. Thank see you. Guys. Bye.